Hey guys, so yesterday's video about the plating thickness on various uh, bits of e-waste got a little bit of attention and one of the users uh, asked whether I could possibly um, have a look at the plating thickness for the, the Wi-Fi cards for instance and modems and things like that out of laptops and so um, I thought well I might as well uh, do a few more bits and pieces and see how we go with them so hunting through my uh, my fingers container I managed to actually find one of the uh, fingers that I trimmed off of this uh, Wi-Fi card not quite sure which particular model this is but it's it's the the typical kind of thing that you uh, find when you open up the bottom of a laptop and um, I'll show you under the microscope that those those do in fact match up so that is definitely the finger from that card and I thought while we're busy um, the other two other main things that I didn't actually know the plating thicknesses of is one is these types of uh, foils that come off uh, inkjet printer cartridges and the other one is SIM cards from mobile phones so I thought they would be quite interesting to find out as well uh, for our controls again I have this uh, up here is an Enic board so Electrolyst Nickel Immersion Gold I know that is what that is because that is what it was ordered as and I also have just a randomly picked uh, RAM finger so these generally are pretty safe to be assumed as a, as a decent quality uh, hard gold plating so I'll get all this set up under the microscope again and um, basically as with yesterday's video I will use uh, one drop of 35% nitric acid on each and then we'll just see what the short term reaction is as well as letting it go for about 15 minutes and then seeing uh, what's what the gold uh, looks like uh, at that time okay so I'll just get this set up and um, I'll be back in a second okay so on the left here we have the uh, Wi-Fi card out of the laptop and on the right we have the finger that I found in my finger bin and if I line these up around there you will see the the track kind of go across the cut line and so you've got a thick like over here you've got quite a thick track which goes to a thick track in a via and the lighting is not great but over here you can see there's a there's a 45 degree track uh, quite a thick track as well heading down to this one so I am 100% sure that the finger we are going to test here is from this Wi-Fi card I'll just show you the other side as well just as a confirmation but um, I'm quite sure that what we've got is what we want uh, so you can see uh, all of those pins there are joined to a ground plane and you can see the same ground plane on this side as well as one two three quite fat tracks running across the bottom there so I think it's safe to safe to say that this is indeed the fingers from the Wi-Fi card in terms of what we will do for the printer foils um, I have a there's a, a bit of a variety to choose from but this type here uh, seems to be pretty much the most common and so I've, I've got the most of these and so I'll, I'll just run uh, one of these through as a test sample as well um, other than that we've got the SIM card just a standard two degrees SIM card from a New Zealand telecoms network and we've got our old uh, Enig sample so electrolyzed nickel immersion gold this is the stuff that is uh, so between about two and about five micro inches in thickness of gold plating and we have the uh, randomly chosen ram fingers and this stuff should be if if it is hard plating as it usually is this should be um, t about 25 to 40 micro inches uh, of, of gold plating as you can see on this one um, it's got a little bit of wear where it's slid in and out of the connector but if this one behaves like uh, the one I tested yesterday then there shouldn't really be much uh, effect from the wear we shouldn't have worn through the gold yet okay so I'll get all of these uh, set up on the microscope and also prepare some 50% uh, of 75 50% uh, of 70% nitric acid so take some 70% nitric acid and dilute it by half with some distilled water and um, 
yeah, so I'll get all that prepared and uh, I'll be back soon. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've got our five samples uh, set up here and I will now proceed to put a drop of the 35% nitric acid on each. So the first one top left is going to be the um, the Enig sample, so very thin gold plating. Then below that we've got the SIM card. Uh, up the top in the middle we've got those uh, fingers from the uh, the Wi-Fi card from the laptop. Then I've got the printer. Oops, I've got the printer foil from the printer cartridge, and then we've got our control sample here, which is a standard RAM finger. So we'll see how that goes. So, okay, got those. I'll just uh, get myself set up here, and then we will have a quick look and see if there is anything happening. So the time at the moment four minutes past four in the afternoon so that will give us some idea of how long things are taking based on yesterday's result i expect the enig sample to start showing this one here to start showing a reaction first and as you can see there if i go to maximum zoom we are already after only seconds we are seeing a reaction on the enig um, obviously as it as more of the acid finds it w its way through the porous gold to the to the um, the nickel and copper underneath, we will see a, a quicker reaction. Let's have a quick initial look at the SIM card. So initially, the SIM card is looking pretty good. There's not much happening there at all. So let's have a look next at. You can see how the uh, the ENEG is really going for it. Let's have a look at this finger here from the laptop Wi-Fi card. Oops. So very little happening there. Strongly suspecting at this point that those are going to be hard gold plated, not, not a Enig plating. Uh, let's see if anything is happening with our printer foil. Let's see if I can focus on the gold. Uh, once again looking pretty good, nothing much happening there. And then if I move over to our uh, RAM finger sample, go for maximum zoom to see if we can see any reaction. So nothing much happening there either, uh, not even where it has obviously been scratched, the gold where it's uh, been inserted and removed, uh, so nothing much. Uh, appearing maybe the slightest bit of reaction in the middle there where the um, where the scratching was the deepest but if we compare that still to our uh, our Enig example you will see a very nice vigorous uh, very vigorous reaction there so I think at this point what I'll do is I'll um, I'll set these up I'll go I'll get them into focus I will go and um, set up a bit of a time lapse and then we'll come back again in about 15 or 20 minutes and just see uh, how all the various samples have reacted okay back soon Okay, guys, so um, about 20 minutes or so has gone by and um, hopefully the time lapse has shown some interesting results. If we have a quick look at all of these uh, at all of these samples, uh, we should be able to see how they all performed. So, not much of a surprise with this one here this is our enig sample so we were based on based on yesterday's results we were expecting this to be uh, quite a decent reaction and then i will try as per yesterday just giving it a scratch let me just find my tweezers um we'll give it a scratch of the pipette again and just see 
yeah so just basically as we saw yesterday the gall does come off in very very uh, tiny flakes a little bit of a little bit of a mixed bag here with the um, with the mobile phone sim card so i'm not exactly sure why I, the the main plating doesn't appear to be in it because we've we've got this entire pad up here completely covered in in the nitric acid and there's very little reaction happening but this pad down here appears to have a decent reaction happening so for those of you paying attention while uh, the time lapse is going you will have seen that i put another uh, another drop of acid on all of these just to make sure that they they had enough to get the job done so if you look to the left here uh, you will see that the gold is actually uh, probably coming off as a foil same on the right hand side here you can actually see quite nicely about there where the, where the tip of the tweezers are i don't want to put them inside the nitric acid but you can see the uh, the gold is definitely uh, coming off as a foil so i would say the mobile phone oh look at that very nicely actually so the the reaction was completely contained underneath the gold foil and um, yeah that's that's a, a very nice example of uh, look at look at the gold behaving as a as a layer so I think we can safely say that the mobile phone sim card is a relatively um, a relatively thick gold plating I'm not gonna don't think they're quite as thick as uh, don't think it's quite as thick as the as the RAM chips going to be or the, the RAM thing is going to be but um, definitely coming off as foils rather than just the uh, the black powder that you see up here you see the uh, very thin very thin coating this was our uh, initial test sample and as you will see very little reaction has happened and I think if I try and scratch it nothing will I can feel the uh, yeah so absolutely nothing happening and that's pretty much what we expected to see from a my very good hard gold plating so the answer to the uh, to the the question asked on the on the other uh, video uh, whether these are hard gold plating or enic they're definitely a hard gold plating uh, obviously no guarantee that uh, they're hard gold plating on on all laptop wi-fi type cards but the, the one i i had to test definitely a very good quality hard gold plating then a little bit of a surprise here from the uh from the printer foil there, there appears to be very little reaction happening and um appears to be a very good quality gold coating on these um i would say probably in line with uh in line with ram in terms of the the coating on this so uh yeah so that's a uh, good to know so it might actually be worthwhile uh, collecting up these uh, these inkjet foils from print cartridges I'm, I'm quite surprised by that i didn't think it was going to be a very thick coating but this appears to be resisting the nitric acid very well okay then here coming to uh our control ram finger which we relatively certain is going to be a hard gold plating and you can see on the left there where the copper is exposed by the cut you can see a little bubbling a little bit of bubbling so a bit of reaction happening same at the top here near the via but overall um, oops I'm just going to try and rotate this so that we can look at it that way there we go overall not much of a reaction has happened here uh, a little bit more possibly than the uh, ram finger we tried yesterday but still uh, a very good quality coating and i suspect i can actually feel the oops i can feel the the thickness of it but there's obviously not nowhere near enough time has gone past to actually uh, remove enough copper underneath uh, because the nitric acid can't go through the gold it has to go around it so you can see the reaction is mostly happening around the sides here and uh, possibly a little bit in the middle where the f where the gold coating was damaged by the insertion you can see with the scratching i have actually removed that little bit of uh, there is a little bit of a gold foil floating around there it is in the middle um, that came off that little bottom bit where obviously the acid had had enough time 
to work its way around the gold and um, and remove the the copper and uh, and other base metals underneath the uh, the gold. So that was a uh, quite an interesting reaction. I'd say the let's go back to full view. I'd say the uh, surprising one here probably is the mobile phone SIM card, which would be uh, somewhere in the middle. So we're definitely thicker than ENEG, but not quite a hard gold plating. The the printer foil, very, very impressive coating on that. There's, there's just no bubbling, no reaction, nothing happening there. So that's done really well. And yeah, the aim of this was to check out this, this one here, which is the... Um, this is the Wi-Fi card from a laptop, and yeah, that appears to be hard gold plating as well, so definitely grab those whenever they're available. Okay guys, hope this was a, a nice little follow-up to yesterday's video, and um, yeah, once again, feel free, if you can think of anything that would be interesting to test, feel free to let me know, and if I can get access to it, I'm quite happy to give it a try. I think possibly one of the things we might try at some point is uh, see how the coating behaves on things like um, RF connectors. Just see how thick the plating is on that. I'm fairly sure the plating is not very thick, but it might be hard gold plating thick. So it would be quite interesting to see that as well. But yeah, if you guys have any idea, let me know. Okay, catch you guys later.